Do you remember prosenezumab? It's that promising drug we talked about before, the one that might slow down Parkinson's disease. Well, good news. It's now moving into the final testing stage, called Phase 3, starting in 2025. Let's talk about what this could mean for you or your loved ones. Hello, friends, and welcome back to Senior Health Formula. This is your friendly channel where we explain the newest health news in simple words. If you're new here, please subscribe and click the bell icon. That way, you'll get notified about our videos on hope and help for conditions like Parkinson's. Today, we're updating you on prosenizumab, the treatment we featured in our previous video. If you missed it, you can find it in the description below. Since then, things have progressed nicely. As of September 2025, the company Roach, working with Prothena, has decided to move prosenizumab into Phase 3 trials. Phase 3 is the last big step before it might get approved for everyone to use. This drug isn't just for hiding symptoms. It aims to tackle the root of Parkinson's, possibly slowing it down. For many seniors, this could mean more good days ahead with better movement and independence. Parkinson's is a brain condition in which certain brain cells that make a chemical called dopamine start dying off. The main troublemaker is a protein called alpha-synuclein. It clumps up in the brain, gets in the way, and harms those important cells. Right now, medicines like levodopa help by adding more dopamine, which eases symptoms for a while. But they don't stop the disease from getting worse over time. That's why prosinizumab is exciting. It's a special lab-made protein called a monoclonal antibody that goes after those bad alpha-synuclein clumps. It sticks to them and helps your body clear them out, like a helpful cleaner sweeping away dirt before it builds up too much. In our first video, we talked about two main studies, one called Pasadena and another called Padova. These were phase two tests, which check if the drug works and is safe in a group of people. Pasadena involved about 316 folks with early Parkinson's. They got the drug, or a fake version, placebo, for a year, then everyone tried the real drug in an extension part. Early results showed that people on prasinizumab had slower worsening of movement problems, measured by a test called MDSUPDRS Part 3. This test looks at things like how well you can walk, button a shirt, or eat. Padova was bigger, with 586 people who were already taking stable medicines like levodopa, it also suggested benefits, especially in keeping motor skills from declining as fast. Now let's update you on what's new, step by step. We'll explain each part simply, and remember, you can find links to these studies and more in the video description below. Just scroll down. We've put everything there for easy access, like articles from Nature Medicine and Trial Info from clinicaltrials.gov. First, more about the Pasadena study. It began in 2017 and keeps going with extra parts where people continue the drug. The main test lasted 52 weeks, with some getting presinezumab and others placebo. Then, in the open-label extension, everyone got the real thing. In April 2024, experts looked deeper and found the drug helped more in certain groups, like those whose Parkinson's was worsening faster, or folks over 60, or those with sleep issues like REM, sleep behavior disorder. For seniors, this is key because many of us see quicker changes as we age. Then, in October 2024, they shared four-year results from this extension, published in a respected journal called Nature Medicine. They compared the prosinizumab group to a similar group of people from another study, PPMI, who weren't on this drug. In Pasadena, there were early starters who got the drug right away, 177 people, and delayed starters who waited a year, 94 people. The results? When not on their usual meds, the off state, when symptoms feel worse, early starters saw their movement scores worsen 65% slower than the comparison group. Delayed starters had 51% slower worsening. When on meds, the on state, it was even better, 118% slower for early starters and 94% for delayed. Even everyday tasks like getting dressed or eating declined 40 to 48% slower. This means prasinezumab might keep working for years, helping you stay active longer. 
maybe walking to the mailbox or playing cards with friends without as much struggle. Next, the Padova study, which is phase 2b. It finished its main part in late 2024. It included 586 people with early Parkinson's on steady treatments like levodopa for at least three months. They got presenizumab through an IV every four weeks or placebo for at least 76 weeks, then an extension. In December 2024, Roche shared the main results. The key goal was time until motor problems got worse by a certain amount. A five-point jump on the MDSUPDRS Part 3 OFF score. It reduced the risk by 16%. Hazard ratio 0.84, but it was just a bit short of being statistically significant. P-value 0.0657. But here's the encouraging part. In the group already on levodopa, about three-quarters of them, it cut the risk by 21%, hazard ratio 0.79, and that was significant. Other measures, like overall scores and how patients felt, showed positive trends, too. Safety was good, no big new problems, with over 900 people in the studies now, some on it for five years. Even with these mixed but hopeful results, Roche announced in June 2025 that they're going ahead with Phase 3. They're focusing on early-stage Parkinson's, where people are on stable symptom meds. Experts think it has a 25 to 40 percent chance of succeeding in Phase 3, which is normal for new ideas like this. The new trial will test similar things over two to three years, with more people involved. For you, as a senior, this is worth paying attention to. If you're 60 or older, the studies show extra benefits for folks like us, especially if your symptoms are progressing quickly, a common thing in our age group. Imagine adding prosinazumab to your levodopa routine. It could act like an extra shield, slowing things down so you have more time for hobbies, family visits, or just feeling more like yourself. No more watching abilities slip away as fast. On safety, it's been gentle on people. In all these tests, with over 900 participants, side effects were rare and mild, like a little redness or itch where the IV goes in. They go away fast, nothing serious like harm to organs or bad infections, even after five years. For seniors who might worry about new meds mixing with others or feeling frail, this is comforting. You get it through an IV once a month, simple, like a quick doctor visit. What's the timeline looking like? Recruiting for Phase 3 started in late 2025. Main results might come in 2027 or 2028, and if it works well, approval could happen by 2028 to 2029. Then, it might be in pharmacies soon after. Of course, timelines can change, but it's moving forward. Want to join a trial? It's a great way to try it early and help science. Talk to your doctor first. They'll check if it fits you. You might qualify if you have early Parkinson's, stages 1 to 2 on the Huayne and Yar scale, diagnosed in the last 2 to 3 years on steady meds like levodopa, between 40 to 80 years old and no big other health problems. Go to clinicaltrials.gov and search presinezumab or look for Roche's trials like the extension of NCT03100149. Sites are opening up in the U.S., Europe, and more, places like big hospitals or clinics near you. Groups like the Michael J. Fox Foundation have a trial finder tool to help match you. Joining is free, often with help for travel, and you get expert care. Even if not this trial, signing up for research lists like PPMI can make a difference. This update fits right into our Parkinson's series. It's the next chapter after our first video. We're committed to following these stories year by year, bringing you real hope based on facts. If you're taking levodopa, chat with your doctor about watching for quick changes in your symptoms and maybe trial options. It could open new doors. To wrap up, keep that hope alive. Prezenezumab is part of a brighter future for managing Parkinson's. We know it's not easy, but breakthroughs like this show progress is happening. If this helped, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and share with a friend or family member dealing with Parkinson's. And don't forget, all the study links, articles, and resources are right in the description below. Just click and explore. Stay strong, stay informed, 
and take good care of yourself. Do you remember prosenezumab? 